If you're at all compelled about the longevity and expansion of the Miz T Show, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Links below. Hey there, fools. Big T here, and I'm back with another video. And this video will be about the resurgence, or hopeful resurgence, of one of my favorite genres of all times in gaming, and that is the side-scrolling or side-scrolling beat 'em up. Some time ago, did a similar video talking about the resurgence of uh, the 3D platformer, where it looked like there was going to be a renaissance, a return to 3D platformers, uh, platformers in general. I mentioned a few games in that video. Let's go check it out um, if you haven't seen it already. Um, but in the recent video, I actually was doing some gameplay um, of a game called Mother Russia Bleeds, which is on PC. Maybe it's on some consoles. I don't know. I have the P I have the PC game from Steam, and um, and it got me thinking about uh, you know the side scrolling uh, beat 'em up, and we haven't had that many um, outside of what the 90s. Um, the late 90s, I think the side scrolling beat em up basically, uh, basically kind of um, evolved in, into other types of games. Uh, for me, um, one of the big games uh, that it, or one of the big genres, I should say, that it evolved into uh, was the Musu games, um, like with the Dynasty Warriors and stuff like that. Uh, I think the beat em up, you know, the action beat em up kind of games evolve into that because you can see some similarities there uh, but in the late 90s like there were games that were trying to transition from the 2d side scroller to maybe a, a fixed 3d side scroller or a fixed 3d camera in a beat-em-up um, you had uh, the excellent uh, Die Hard games like Die Hard Arcade and Die Hard Trilogy uh, for Sacred Saturn and um, for PS1, um, you had uh, Dynamite Deka on uh, Dreamcast, which is basically uh, a continuation of uh, the the Die Hard games, because Dynamite Deka was what it was called in Japan, I believe. Uh, it wasn't called Die Hard, if I'm not mistaken. At least there was a game or two in the series that were called Dynamite Deka, um, and in the West, uh, it was uh, Die Hard. Uh, so you had that game on Dreamcast, and um, you also had the Fighting Force series, which um, I believe from some research I did forever ago, and if I, I hope I'm remembering this correctly, was that the Fighting Force series actually was supposed to be Streets of Rage um, at some point, and you, you can kind of see where some of the characters look similar to the Streets of Rage characters, so that makes sense, I think. Um, but I guess they some licensing issues with Sega or whatever, and it didn't, they just ended up making a new game, a uh, new series anyway. Fighting Force, uh, Fighting Force Two should not be mentioned because it was way different. Uh, try to they try to go more kind of like shooter action with that one, which I don't know why. Um, but Fighting Force, not a great game or anything, but it was a nice beginning I thought to the 2D uh, beat 'em up going into the 3D realm. And uh, the last kind of at least high profile game I can remember uh, in that realm was The Bouncer for PS2, which was just garbage. <laughs> There's no other way to put it. Um, I believe it was published by Square. I don't think Square developed it, um, but you could see like, um, you know, Square looking characters in it, you know, Final Fantasy type characters. Um, actually, more Kingdom Hearts. I think uh, there's definitely some. Uh, carryover for character designs from uh, the clothing and stuff that they wore in those games to like uh, Sora and Kingdom Hearts so um, yeah so we haven't really seen much from that genre you know outside of like arcade classics put on Xbox Live arcade or something or we wear stuff um, and now you have indie games that are starting to do uh, indie game companies that are kind of bringing this genre back, which is awesome. Uh, I mentioned Mother Mother Russia Bleeds. We actually got sequels to classic um, 2D fighters, 2D brawlers uh, like uh, Double Dragon. Um, got a one, got a new game, Double Dragon Four, 
that I actually downloaded on Switch uh, that is a, a direct sequel, uh, as far as I'm concerned, to the NES Double Dragon games. So that's pretty cool. And, you know, there's a bunch of others. And I came across one uh, the other night. Um, I think I saw it on Twitter. Somebody had shared uh, called was it Raising Justice. I hope I have the name right. And it looks like, you know, it's called Raging, so you think they kind of took that from Streets of Rage. Um, it, but it looks like a almost claymation version of a 2D, uh, you know, side scroll and beat em up Streets of Rage game. And it, look, it just looks awesome. And I'm, I'm glad, for one, that it does, it's not just a pixel, you know, art kind of game, or it's not just a mimicking 16 bit or 8 bit even kind of game. They're trying to do their own visual art style. I like that fact. I like the fact of that. But it still maintains the kind of aesthetic, the, the, the feel of a 90s 2D side-scrolling beat-em-up. And that's what I'm excited about. So there's a bunch of others. Um, uh, actually, they showed in the Nindy. Uh, the, it's not a action. Well, it's not a brawler, but it's kind of a 2D action uh, kind of game in the vein of like a Ninja Gaiden. Uh, I think it's a Messenger. It looks so cool. It looked like you know a sequel to a Ninja Gaiden NES game, and which was awesome. So, um, but that's not really the genre I'm talking about here. But I've seen you know rumblings of more 2D brawlers or uh, 2D kind of brawling games in the vein of even like a um, what is it Golden Axe or you know more fantasy based stuff or even a um, Altered Beast type of thing so and I've seen them mostly like on Steam and they basically go to Steam to die because they don't get the shine there and I believe a lot of those games will end up coming to Switch because um, Switch is a very, to me, Switch is it's like the retro gamers console. Um, like all those types of games just fit really well on the Switch, and I'm very happy to see them coming and getting shine uh, on the Switch. So um, I feel like with the Switch, uh, with it, with its popularity and how games sell, especially retro style games, sell on it that we're going to see retro renaissance, um, basically uh, genres that are kind of out of favor kind of come back. And one of them being my favorite, one of my favorites is the 2D side scrolling beat em up. So I'm looking forward to that, man. So let me know what you guys think. Are you also looking forward to a renaissance in the 2D brawler? Uh, let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching and listening as always. And now uh, see you fools next time. Peace out. <laughs>